Hello everybody, here's a part 2 video where I run all my 12 inch oscillating desk fans for my 400 subscriber special because as you guys know, I do have a part 1 where I run some 12 inch ones but I didn't have enough plugs or enough floor space to do all of them so obviously I'm having to do a part 2 so yeah, so yeah, that's what this is going to be today so I'm going to go through the ones I have starting off with this one which is the Beldry 12 inch oscillating white desk fan and then next to that is a Sturflow 12 inch oscillating white desk fan this is from 2013 this Sturflow is not sure about the Beldry and then next to the Sturflow we have another Beldry because Beldry make a metal one as well as a plastic one so this is a 12 inch oscillating chrome desk fan by Beldry as well they just so happen to make both of them like a metal and a plastic one and I have them both in my collection and then next to that is the Dyson 12 inch oscillating silver and white desk fan and that one does have remote control okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna run them all on low now without oscillation that's the Beldry starting up Stuff loads of oscillation, okay. That's the stir flow starting up. Oh, that one's on oscillation. Luckily, I checked that so low. Okay, Dyson's got 10 speeds, so when the um, other ones go on to medium, I'll put the Dyson straight up to speed 5 because that'll be like halfway, so technically, it's a medium. Then it will go on 10 when Neil has gone free, so that's how it will work. So here's this close up. The Dyson, you're not really going to feel much from it, probably nothing at all actually, but I'll do it anyway. Close up, you probably won't feel nothing from it. So I'm going to go round again, like I did before. Now I'm going to go on to medium. Yeah, it does tell you know, down at the bottom there what speed the Dyson's on. You should be able to feel something from this Dyson now. Okay. If you're wondering how I'm doing it on the Dyson, I'm doing it with the remote control. I know what you're thinking, you can see a mic for a Mark Tower fan in the background. I will do a video at some point of doing all my tower fans. I've done all the mini tower fans, but at some point I'll do all the big tower fans. So anyway, now low with oscillation on these. Dyson takes forever, because you have to go all the way back there on. So these two I'll show oscillating together and then I'll show the other two oscillating together. Now these two.
playing now to medium with oscillation. These two oscillate in. Quite centered. Sorry about that. Now these two are overheat off. High of oscillation. These two again. Okay, now these two over here again. Yep. We're saying these are desk bands, so actually quite powerful when they're all to on together at the same time. There's a lot of air coming from them when they're all on at once. And now for the spin downs. There. So what I'm going to do is turn the Beldry and the stir flow off together. So you'll see those two spin down at the same time, and then after that I'll do the other Beldry and the Dyson. Of course you won't see the Dyson spin down because the, it's bladeless, the blades are inside the unit. So anyway, here we go. The stir flows are way longer spin down. Now for the Beldry and the Dyson. Okay, and that's it for the video. Hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. And yeah, bye for now.